Chris Cabber, a young black man, was shot dead by the police in South London a week ago today. He was driving a car which the police say was linked to a firearms incident a few days earlier, but... Camper was unarmed. The Independent Office for Police Conduct has launched a homicide investigation into the fatal shooting. We can talk now to the Labour MP for the area, the Labour MP for Streatham, Bell Ribeiro Addy, who was one of those speaking at a protest held about this shooting over the weekend. Good morning to you. Good morning. You've been speaking to the family, I know. What is it they want that you now want from the authorities? Well, the first thing I think they want to see, and they've got some very clear and reasonable demands, is that the officer that fired the shot that killed their son should be suspended from duty. It is bizarre that even though that now it's a homicide investigation, this hasn't happened yet. I can't think of any other profession in which this would be the case. They also want to be able to view body-worn camera footage, which I think is is, is fair enough and has been allowed in, in, in previous cases. And they want a timeline for the IOPC's investigation. We understand that it has to be thorough, but I think it's really unfair to keep families um, like Chris is waiting for, for a very long period of time, which is something that we have seen with the IOPC um, and the previous body, the IPCC. Is it not reasonable that while they're investigating, there are some things that will not be made public? Perhaps that body-worn camera, for example, while they work out what happened, while they ask questions of people involved? Absolutely. And no one's asking for it to be made public, simply to be released to the family or for the family to be able to view it. We know that in similar cases when this has happened, the family have been um, able to go down uh, to, to wherever is holding the footage and view it for themselves. Selves. I think it's really important when people are coming to terms with the death of, of, of a loved one that they're able to see exactly what happened. And so far, they've had to drag every single piece of information out. And, and, and that, in, in my view, has is, is just not necessary. Um, for example, the fact that he was unarmed, it took a good few days to, to, to release that information. And, and things like that are key when people are, are, are processing what's happened. You're, you're saying, I think, not... are you, that the communication between the Metropolitan Police and a grieving family, that that is critical? That is absolutely critical, especially in the situation where an officer has caused the death. That's very, very key. I mean, we already have very, very low, um, very low, well, very, very serious mistrust between the police and black communities. The Metropolitan Police are currently under special measures. These things, um, you know, are, are, are very, very problematic, particularly when we're seeing all of these incidences in our community. And we're seeing that we do, we do need a situation where people trust the police because they are there to protect us. And ultimately, all good relationships start well with communication if they are not willing to communicate these things are never going to change and ultimately uh, trust and confidence in policing is not going to change and that's what we need to see if we're going to move forward with a police force well, that has the confidence of mm, the people that word trust is crucial i mean the iopc automatically investigate any discharge of firearms by the police and they've upgraded it to a homicide investigation in this case do you do the family trust them to come up with a full account of what happened well at the moment whilst they are scrambling for pieces of information that they should have had access to there isn't that trust and and this is where the problem arises if they had been given the information at the very beginning you know there would have been a situation where it some things that may come out may, may be fair enough and maybe this is very sad but this is what's happened but when people withhold things from you it ultimately gives the impression that something's gone very wrong and all you hear from family and 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 friends and loved ones of chris is that people are trying to cover something up and that is just purely on the basis that they haven't had that information well. it creates an air of of of, you know, mis mis misconduct, essentially. And, and that's not what they want to do when they're in the midst of an investigation. Bell Ribeiro Addy.